Once I'd been diagnosed with a terminal illness, I began to view the world from two perspectives. I was starting to see death as both doctor and patient. As a doctor, I knew not to declare, cancer is a battle I'm going to win, or ask, why me? Answer, why not me? I knew a lot about medical care, complications, and treatment algorithms. I quickly learned from my oncologist and my own study that stage four lung cancer today was a disease whose story might be changing, like AIDS in the late 1980s. Still a rapidly fatal illness with emerging therapies that work for the first time, providing years of life. While being trained as a physician and scientist had helped me process the data and accept the limits of what that data could reveal about my prognosis, it didn't help me as a patient. It didn't tell me whether to fight for my career, to reclaim the ambitions I had single-mindedly pursued for so long, but without the surety of time to complete them. <coughs> the tricky part of illness is that as you go through it, your values are constantly changing. You try to figure out what matters to you, and then you keep figuring it out. It felt like someone had taken away my credit card, and I was having to learn how to budget. You may decide you want to spend your time working as a neurosurgeon. But two months later, you may feel differently. Two months after that, you may want to learn to play the saxophone or devote yourself to the church. Death may be a one-time event, but living with a terminal illness is a process. <laughs>